what's up? It's your girl Nye and this is Slay the Renee Way, a place where passionate entrepreneurs can come to grow, glow, and succeed in their small businesses. So if that sounds like you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because your girl is dropping gym after gym after gym. If you want to build the most professional and easy and free website for your small business in 2024, today I'm going to be walking you guys through how to do just that using the most professional website building that I've just recently discovered called site123.com. So if you're a beginner, you have no idea how to code, Shopify is too expensive, you've also looked into Wix, but it's too many options and it's a little confusing, Site123 makes it super easy and affordable to do. In case you haven't already, make sure that you guys go ahead and visit my building a website for free playlist. I'll go ahead and link it up here somewhere. In this playlist, I include tons of different website builders that you guys can use that are all 100% free. I just recently discovered this, and so if you're excited, come on and get your laptop. Let's jump right into it. Here is what the Site123 homepage looks like, you guys. It says, create a free website today. By far the easiest free website builder. You can also pick from a ton of different free and beautiful website templates. Something that I love about Site123 is the fact that all the templates are free and they just look so professional. I mean, I've used a ton of different website services that are free, but these templates, you guys, they are given very professional. Some of the features that they have include an intuitive website editor where no coding is required. You can get a custom domain. It's mobile friendly. There's free website hosting. You can actually create your online store for free using this website as well. So it says build your website in three easy steps. You can create your website and then you'll select to upload your own content and then you basically publish your online website and you can do this in less than an hour. It literally only took me about 30 or so minutes to make this tutorial. Go ahead and get your computers ready, you guys. We're gonna jump right into this. I just wanna show you guys that they have the free plan, which is what I'm gonna be showing you guys today. But they also have a premium plan that is $12.80 a month and this is one of the more affordable options that I've seen. So if you wanted to do that, you can also do that as well. But go ahead and click create your free website and here's what you'll see. It asks what type of website do you want? Y'all, they have so many options. You can do a business, an online store, a blog, a handyman service website, restaurant and food, photography, events, or just like a technological website. Today, we're going to be working on creating an online store. So go ahead up to the top and click online store. Then you want to add your online store name. For example purposes, I'm going to be making a candle website example. So we're doing candles by Nye. Then click go to the next step. You want to enter in your email and your password. And once you've done that, I'll show you guys what the screen looks like after this. Congratulations on your new website. Now let's get ready to publish your website. It's time to add your content. And don't forget, we're here to assist you 24 seven. So they had this little intro video that I did go ahead and watch just to see how you are actually able to edit your website, whether or not it's drag and drop, or if it's more like Shopify, where you have a toolbar on the left-hand side and you can edit. So they kind of have an intermixing of what Wix and Shopify does, which I like. You're able to actually click onto the layout of your website and edit it in real time. And then on the left-hand side, you have all of your different options for designing. So the very first thing that I think I wanna do with this website is I would like to change the products. The very first thing we're going to do is go into change our products because like I said, we're doing a candles website and this website is set up as a fashion and clothing store. Once you click the store button, it's going to open up your e-commerce different editors. So basically you guys, we need to go in and create our products. So as you can see, they already have their two catalog sections. These are where you'll put your category. So if you're selling clothes, you want to have a women's section and a men's section or a kid's section. But since I'm selling candles, I'm going to categorize my candles by candles for her and then candles for him. This is all just an example. So what we're going to go ahead and do is click those three dots on the top of our products so that we can delete our products that they have up here already. And then we will upload our new product photos for each of these categories. So again, click those three dots and then scroll down to delete and select yes. Do the same thing for any other categories that they already have preset for you. We want to start with a completely clean slate. So now go down to all products and click add new product. It's very step-by-step -step and simple. All you're going to do is type in your product name. I believe we're going to do a welcome home candle. That seems pretty general. And with this, you guys, I love that they actually have a text AI system where you click this little wand with the three dots around it and you can actually get your description auto generated for you. So I did just go ahead and upload a stock image of a candle that I found. 
Um, I'm using copyright free images. I'll give you guys a website that you can use if you want that as well. But they will give you suggested text for your descriptions. Normally, I would use ChatGPT, but Site123 has done it for y'all. It's already integrated into the website. So you can go through and read some of these. The Welcome Home Candle is more than just a candle. It's a feeling of warmth. Light up your home with a delightful Welcome Home Candle. It's inviting fragrance, creates a sense of tranquility and calmness, making it the perfect addition to your daily routine. I'm going to click that one. Just click Add, and boom, it's done for you. Now we just created our category, so I'm going to select that this is a category of both because it's just a general welcome home candle. Scroll down, you want to enter your price. I put $22.50 and that this price would be on sale. It is holiday season, so you know, well into January and February, we have plenty of holidays where you guys can promote your products using a sale. Now for your SKU, that is your stock keeping unit. You want to make sure that you put how many of these products you actually have in stock. So I'm going to say 15. That's just an example number. But make sure you take inventory when you are designing your website and don't put more than what you actually have on hand. So that's our first product. Now let's go ahead and add a new one. Same process. Go ahead and type in your product name. You will then upload your image. And I'll show you guys some more different variations and things that you can do. So I'm putting a holiday candle and I'm going to again let the text AI give me a good description. Obviously, you guys, you want to tweak this and make sure that it sounds like you and it doesn't just sound like something that is AI generated. But I feel like this gives you a good way to start. A lot of us are not really good with forming our words, though we know how to describe our product. Sometimes you just need a good sentence structure and some good adjectives to describe your product. So I highly recommend using this feature. Like, look at how this sounds. Experience the magic of the holidays with the holidays candle. This exquisite candle is, etc., etc. I mean, the words are there, y'all. Again, this is going to fall into both categories. We're going to do the same price at $22.50, and it's on sale. Make sure that you include how many of these candles you actually have in stock, and then click Save. Make sure you click Save when you're done. Oh, I think I forgot something because it won't let me save it. Let me go back up. Oh, I forgot to add my image. So go to upload an image. Again, I'll show you guys a website where you can get stock photos that are copyright free. I'll include that in the description box. So yeah, here's my holiday candle. Now click the options tab. If you want to have different product options, such as color, weight, size, scent, this is where you would do that. So we're obviously going to have different sizes of this candle. So I'm going to click the size option and then we will be able to edit it. Now click this pencil button for edit options. And we're going to keep the title as size and I'm going to change these to ounces. So we're starting at four ounces and we're going to go all the way up to 12 ounce. Obviously, this will depend on what product you're selling. But I did want to show you guys that you have so many different custom abilities to make sure that your customer is getting exactly what they want and you have all your product variations available. So now let's do shipping. If you click the shipping tag here, you'll see the different shipping rate options. You can use global rates, which is what the store will automatically do for you. They will calculate all of your shipping based on which provider you're using. I typically like to do a fixed rate with all of my products. So I typically do between five and six dollars. I feel like it makes it easier. But yeah, make sure that you go ahead and weigh all of your products on a scale and include the weight and dimension so that if you are using the global rate shipping, they are able to calculate a more accurate shipping label. So here's all the options that you guys can do. You can also make it so that someone has to pay tax for a couple of products. Um, those are more options that I will get into later. But let's go ahead and just click save. Because if you go down to the settings and shipping tag, here's where you can customize your standard shipping options. So if you don't feel like going through every product and making the shipping different for every product, go to the settings and then click shipping. And you can do flat rate. You can call your shipping title standard, just like I did, and then you can select the estimated delivery time to whatever you normally do. Make sure that this is clear on your website. So I put three to five business days and that the rate is $5 for shipping in the United States. So we're going to click preview because I want to see what the website looks like so far. See where we're going. Okay, here it is. Okay, this actually looks kind of cute. We're going to change all the colors and the text and things like that, but the website itself, the functionality is there and it looks really, really good. I even like that you can do a quick view. You click on your product and it displays everything for you without them having to actually go to a whole new page. This is amazing. I love it. I love it. Okay, so let's exit out of here and let's go back to editing.
and we're going to change our page titles this page title is called e-commerce and we also have the home page that said hot categories i don't really like that i'm just going to put shop our candles or shop a collection or something like that you have full customized you're able to change this to whatever you want to make sure that it matches your brand and that it is enticing to your customers so now i'm on the home page and we're about to edit this image so click on choose an image they actually have a lot of free stock photos on one two three on site one two three dot com so i just typed in candle and here's what i came up with so i'm going to use one of their photos because why not it's free and if you don't have the time to actually take your photography for your website here's a good way to do so i'm changing this from fashion and clothing store because this is not a fashion and clothing store we are selling candles so i'm i'm changing this and as you guys can see you can edit directly onto your website like i said you can see in real time what it will look like which is something that I've really, really liked because with Shopify, you can't do that. You actually have to edit on the left-hand side and then it refreshes and then it shows you. But this is a combination of Shopify Wix and even Big Cartel. And I like how easy it is to use. So I did go ahead and put the call to action as a newsletter. Now what I want to do is go ahead and change the colors. So let's click the design tab and click colors. You can use any color that you want to. If you designed your brand board already using Canva, you can go ahead and enter the hex codes down below so that everything matches accordingly. But because it's an example, I'm just playing around with a couple different warm tones. I'm trying to find like a beige, brown, tan kind of color so that it's neutral because this is a candle website. Um, so now we're going to do the fonts. You can scroll down to fonts. They actually have a couple different selections for you to choose from. Once you click it, everything on your website will change from the headers to the buttons to the title of your products. And you just play around with this and see what you like and what fits best. Um, I think there is a way to add custom fonts, but I'm not sure that that is something you're able to do with the free version of this website. I think you will have to have the premium plan for that. So, I mean, they got enough options for you. So we're not being too picky. We're just going to pick a font that we feel like matches our aesthetic. And I landed with this Playfair display. So here in the header, you can actually toggle on or off some of these different options, such as show your phone number and email or your social networks. Always do your social networks at the top and the bottom of your page. So the header and the footer, I think personally, as a web designer, you should always include your social media profiles because everyone's on social media. And if they don't shop with you today, as long as they're following you on social media, who knows, they may shop with you later. So here's where you add your social media links. Make sure that you're entering a valid URL. Um, Again, this is an example, so I'm not actually including a social media profile, but save it. And once you save it, it will appear up on your header. So when I click that button, it will open up to my social media page. Obviously, this is not, you know, a real social media profile. So, yeah, now I'm looking at the colors down below. And so far, everything is looking really good. Y'all, what do y'all think about this so far? Now we're going to go ahead and edit our about page. Another thing about site one, two, three, you guys that I love, they got this text AI feature across the entire website. You can just click that button and it will generate an about page for you. Okay. I did nothing but click a button and we've already got a beautifully worded about us section. Again, make sure that you don't just let this be what you post to your website. You edit it for yourself, but as a way to start, I recommend using it. So again, I'm going to change this image on the about section to another candle related picture scrolling through their free image library i'm gonna i like that they have so many free options for you to use sometimes taking photography is probably one of the harder things to do so if you don't have that already done don't worry because site one two three has it for you scrolling down i do want to do some more things with the colors as you can see down below they have different templates with a couple of different variations of color and different headers different footers and i kind of want this website to be more white and bright so I clicked one of those templates where the main header of the website, I'm sorry, the main background of the website is white as opposed to that darkish green color that they had before. Now, if you scroll down to your contact section of the website, you can actually edit your email that's available for your customers to reach out to you. But then also, if you want to have a phone number, you can do that as well. And if you are a physical location, you can actually edit in your physical address onto the site. But if you don't have a physical store, you obviously don't want to have an address up here on the website. So what I went and did is I went and re-edited this so that I take away this whole map of the city because we don't really need that. So 
So after you click edit, scroll back down to store details or yeah, opening and address. So I just went ahead and deleted the city because like I said, this is not a physical location. So click save and that map that you saw at the bottom that will be removed. Um, again, you can change the headers of everything. Instead of just contact, you can put contact us. Um, I really like the functionality of this website. That's probably one of my favorite things is the fact that I can actually click, drag, edit everything that I'm doing in real time. So now when we click the about section in the header, here's what we see. We're also going to edit our footer, but they don't allow you to do that without having a paid plan. So if you go up to the top in the design tab, click the colors in the footer. Here's where you have a little bit of options of things that you can do. I just wanted to change the footer color. So we go back to design and then click colors. And again, like I said, scroll down to one of these options where the footer of the website is the color that you like. I want it white. So I click this section and boom, now it's white. And so far, so good, you guys. I feel like this website is coming together really easily. Now you want to go ahead and publish. Click the publish button and they will allow for you to purchase your domain through site123.com. Um, I think this is the recommended option because I'm not sure if they will allow you to transfer your domain using the free version. So you may have to go ahead and purchase your domain using site123.com. But if you already have your domain from like GoDaddy or something like that, I think there is a way to transfer it. I'm just not 100% sure, but I'll, I'll find out and show you guys. So here are the different options again for the paid plans, which in order to have a domain, you need to have one of the paid plans. The cheapest plan they have right now is $12.80 a month. But if you don't want to do that, then go to GoDaddy.com. Like I said, you purchase a domain and you will be able to get a domain for a lot cheaper than that. Um, again, I'm just not 100% sure that you're able to transfer your domain from GoDaddy to Site123.com. So if my domain is CandlesBy9.com, I'm going to use GoDaddy and search that domain and see what comes up. Here are all the different options for the pricing and different store domain names. So CandlesBy9.com is $11.99 for the first year, um, but CandlesBy9.store is 99 cent for the first year so obviously this is the one that i will go with because it's the cheapest but now let's go and see if we can actually transfer our domain to site123.com so click the domain tab i do see that again they do have an option for you to purchase the domain through their website but already own the domain click here for more info okay that's what i pretty much figured to connect the domain from anywhere else you do need to have one of their upgraded plans that's kind of a bummer but it's okay you guys because we do have the option to use their temporary subdomain. It's not really pretty. It's very confusing to look at, but it is something, okay? It's something. So if you're just starting, don't really panic. It's something you can figure it out. So now I'm just getting a preview of the website on the mobile version, and it looks so good, y'all. For us just making this website in 30 minutes or less, I feel like this looks really, really good. It's very professional. It's easy to navigate. The pages are very fluid and functional. If you look at the tablet version, it's the same layout. It's just a little bit wider to fit the actual tablet dimensions. I'm in love with this, you guys. I'm not even going to lie to you. I really, really like the way this looks. We can also look at the desktop version and see what our viewers be seeing on the desktop. I want to open a whole new window, though, so I can see it. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Candlesbyna.com looks so good, you guys. That's pretty much it for this tutorial, though. So, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Well, that pretty much wraps up this tutorial, you guys. I hope that you found something useful or helpful in any way. And if you did, please, please, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications so you are notified every time I upload. I am on the road to 100K, so if you'd like to see me reach that goal before the new year, please go ahead and share this video with all of your other entrepreneur and boss babe friends. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.